Maniac. Looking at Sweet Tea, he did beat out Boom Shark Alarka. Uh, I forgot his original tag, but Marcus. Marcus, yeah, Marcus, he did beat um, Charlie at an MSM a while back. Yeah. Then, yeah. So, of course, Sweet Tea able to take it over. Sweet Tea, originally known as NC17. Uh, but let's go into it. No more introductions needed. Let's just get into what is K9's Wario and Sweet Tea's Pokemon Trainer. I'm told that actually Sweet Tea in the broad is a Pokemon Trainer. Uh, yeah, I wasn't allowed to brawl, so I uh, can't confirm or deny that. But, you know, K9 coming out here with the Wario quick 59%. Yeah, man, I'm pretty sure he's inspired by Tweet, especially after this yeah. week. He is weekend from Frostbite. Yeah, I think uh, we'll get similar to after Genesis where we saw the wolves start popping up. I think we'll get to see it some more wa yeah. coming out of the woods. It's kind of like what what, what what uh what what character wins the major will determine yeah. the flavor of the week. Yeah, definitely uh, the case of Royal coming out now. You know, one of those characters I didn't expect to be a flavor of the week character, but here we are rocking it a great sweet team. Yeah, and so far, the way that Sweet Tea kind of switched to Ivysaur, that's how you feel like Pokemon Trainer is played. Ivysaur, it's kind of like Ivysaur and friends. You really have the zoner of Ivysaur, you have a lot of strengths over the other two Pokemon. So it's kind of like an early percent Pokemon, and then, you know, when you went on the longer percents, you go to... You got your Charizard. Yeah, you got your Charizard, survive, and then, you know, you can't, really can't find that kill, you get a grab with it, but, you know, a lot of the gameplay is on Ivysaur, you know, that's your main character, it feels like. A lot of times you're playing, and that down air, probably bigger than Wario of itself. But yeah, that, that hitbox is pretty crazy, but immediately can I put CT off the stage. This is the extra phase in his hands, but he gets to the yeah, hit by the angle. Right, the back air right there, gonna force him across here, not gonna find that stock though. Great air from the ledge, he tries to combo into the back air, doesn't get it, but he does get the second one, goes for the forward smash, but quick forward air response. Oh, okay, take a bite out of the crime, man. And the crime was looking for the Pokemon at the wrong opportunity here. And the punishment to do a lot of the time in a little bit of a full form. Well, look at how Kina got to this percent here. It's kind of the fact that he got the percent against Sweet Tea against Squirtle. And then he switched to the Ivysaur, and now it's a little bit reversed now. So he's up in stocks in terms of percent. So far, Sweet Tea looking for an opportunity. He's got 99% on Kane and his Bruce. Kane having a hard time able to land. He switches to Ivysaur, got to get more spacing. Yeah, of course, Ivysaur's kill power is a little bit better than Ivysaur. I'm sorry, Squirtles. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, the Ivy was, uh, the Squirtle rather was out, but he didn't feel like Kane had to be scared of dying. But now that the Ivy is out, he has a plethora of blocks he's going to be going for. Yeah. I mean, it's even tougher for Kane too, because he doesn't have Wolf ready yet. Yeah, the back row gonna do it. Only 6% on Sweet Tea, basically up a full stop. Air into the up into another one that's 45% already, and he's still going, not letting K9 land. Yeah, it's kind of one of the things that Sweet Tea has a little bit of a right now is like landings. He's able to punish those landings, and he's so content trying to hold the hitbox. But the minute Sweet Tea gets the punish, man, it's pretty big damage. Like, that situation, man. We saw, we saw Kanan go for a downer, but Sweet Tea was a little bit away from it, so he could have punished afterwards. Alright, and now Kanan does have the walk, but he's down almost a full stop. Does he want to use it now? Or does he want to try and get this stock off of Sweet Tea and then try and get really stock with the walk? Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of Sweet Tea's like, understanding of his game plan. Like, he's got the walk ready, so he's not going to try to kill me with it. So my job here is to get him a little bit more percent if he's trying to get my stock. Oh, oh Neil, that's going to be up tonight. Right yeah. back here. Down is up is throwing out hitboxes against K9 to keep Charizard comes out actually. Threatening with his back and the empty short hops. No, K9 knows that the back here can come out from Charizard. It is a very scary kill option. Yeah, it still actually has a sweet spot like it's a bio breath on his shield. And it's kind of smart for him to switch to Charizard because in this situation he just wants to attack on 1% of K9. Oh and, and the ice smash out of shield. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he got out from the Everyone did great. I don't know why the everyone did great line is so funny. I mean, from uh, Pokemon Trainer's win screen.
All right, well, I don't want to call John's, but uh, man, Ken is telling us about how the lighting is in his face, and it actually is. Oh, no, the light is super bright. Like, yeah, I, I do feel bad. I honestly question how, like, some of these players can withstand, like, having that light on their face the whole time they're driving. Right? I mean, yeah, I, I agree, I agree. Well, moving on, uh, kind of, I mean, in the spectrum of Kanan's characters, he does have this Wario, and it's kind of a secondary, and it's supposed yeah, to see his Fox. Like, the Fox is more of the primary character he has. Wolf. So, I'm um, sorry, yeah, the wolf. I yeah. Have, uh, <laughs> wolf, yeah, wolf is more of a main. doing something I haven't seen. Not yeah, I do Pokemon expect to see the wolf here from K9, though. I respect how the Wario came out, but at the end of the day, right, when CT kind of caught up to his game plan, like, he has Wolf, he's not going to use it to take the stock, right, he wants it the next one. I'm going to go Charizard and make his day a lot worse. Please, please so, tell me K9 like is gonna pull out some sunglasses or something. That would be so funny. So I'm looking through his bad clothes like <laughs> Alright, well he is gonna make the switch to Wolf. I definitely respect that one. Of course that is his main. Yeah, definitely uh backs against the wall there for like yeah, you know he's like, okay, I got my game of Wario, did not go great with me at all. I'd rather just go Wolf. Yeah. I almost feel like when the meta is against the wall, man, you go against me, man. You start playing the meta characters, right? I mean, he was playing literally a meta character, but Wolf is super meta at this situation, so we'll see how things can do for K9's Wolf against Sweet Teeth. Yeah, and the thing about Wolf is he's able to play this game you know, super patiently with the blaster and force Sweet Teeth to oppose. So, yeah. You know, that's going to be kind of difficult to work on sometimes. And yeah, that's kind of one of those things that you have to respect, right? Like, a Squirtle, Squirtle doesn't really have projectiles, right? It's just the Ivasaur, the one taking the charge. And that's what I wanted to see from 3D. Go back to the Ivasaur, because if Kana's going to be playing the projectile game, you have to be able to play the same war as well. Nice to try out of shield. Alright, goes for the down throw into the up Not going to fight it, though. If you guys can Kana's keeping him out of it. But, you know, this game, he does have a lead, but he's still rather close. He goes for the dash attack out of the nail, but immediate tech chase grab goes for the up throw, actually. Yeah, I kind of like the respect that he kind of showed from Sweet Teeth. Only for the down there, so kind of shows to stay on the stage and wait for the landing. All right. I forward throw gonna keep K9 off stage. K9 has to be so careful how he recovers that huge trip on Survivor Sword down here. It's very important against the space. Yeah, area. and even, even the upper as well. Like, you have to be careful if you're going to try to go for gear while purge. Option. Got the upper area, it's got the forward area, and literally, I was like, all the tools to kind of zone you out. It's freaking funny him out, man. Can I lose the Asgard phase from that mind whip? Yeah, that mind whip coming in clutch. You know, we're seeing a lot of Pokemon trainers start to use that tool. Right now, Sweet Team is camping under the Smashville platform. Or, sorry, Pokemon staying a platform because he knows that up throw on the platform will be enough to get the stop. Yeah, and that's why he switches to Charizard. Uh, so yeah. It's only kind of like the Shulk thing, right? Where you want to live a little bit longer, you switch to the heavier character. And of course, the Nada Arts work in tandem in terms of weight. Just switch his properties. So, of course, Charizard being a pretty heavy character allows Sweet Team to live a little longer percent to get that throw that you want here. Can I pretty much work up to the percent here, but can he take the stock? That's the question here. It's the cross up with the dash attack and gets the forward tilt. Forward air off the ledge, but back is gonna kill him across the not even a second thought about it. Alright, he gets the damage on to K9 back air, gonna just tech chase into the up throw. Gets the grab into the down throw, classic dash attack. It's kind of what we can see in the meta for goal. Right, there's the Nair, gonna be off. Goes for the down throw, but great recovery. Kicking Ivysaur in the face with that fire wolf right there. Yeah, he gets the great angle there. I'm looking for the force march to really punish Dino. Sorry, Sweet T. Yeah, a lot of the lead here, but he loses yet again to the Vine Whip. I kind of want to see him start respecting now a little bit more. Now he's able to pop the head guard, so he's dealing with more effectively. Tech in, he gets hit with the black with a great reaction on the tech from the back. Throw, yep. No, he's not gonna, not gonna kill, kill him. Great yeah, yeah. In like that situation, that's what we kind of saw Jacob like you said earlier, right? He's gonna stay around the platform, so he has that little bit of extra height. Yeah, and you know, it felt like he was only a little bit higher percent, he definitely would have in the stock. But that isn't the case now. Kanan's trying to get going against the Ivysaur. Yeah. 
Canine was looking for that little bit of percent to start inching in and hopefully start winning neutral. And that's what Canine's doing, right? He's got Sweet Sea already at 80%. He's forcing the grab at the ledge. It's hard for you Canine tends yet again. I like the spacing, though. Respecting the Ivasaur Vine Whip this time around. I get the punishment from his back on stage. Right now, it's really trying to look like it's in favor of Canine's Wolf here. He gets the dash attack, punch him off the side. Excuse me, sir. What is the DI on that one? That's the next game. Yeah, yeah that's like, hold on, man. I'm not even going to DI, man. Let me send in the next game. Yeah. That's the main DI, man. Shout out to me. Ooh. Man's been absent for a minute. Anyways, let's go on to the next game. So far, we have 1-1. One, one. Both players to the point of the board. Of course, this is winner's quarter. So game three is the last game for the players. Yeah. So going to semis. I mean, Nico fights Zenyu in semifinals. And if can go ahead and fight, defeat Sweet Tea here. And it looks like a possible opportunity for the classic fire and dice trio to meet yet again, right? Like we got Zenyu, Nico, and K9 who've always met on Fire and Dice True Combo Thursdays, right? Yeah. This is a turn it's literally like a Thursday on a Monday for them. Right? Uh, and depending how the bracket will play out, of course, the difference is here we have Iron Hip and YMCA. So I think we'll have to see how their matchup goes it's gonna be on next. Yeah, and now right. game three. This game three is gonna be the most important one of all it's going to be on Smash Bros. Sweet Tea does have Stop the talent to because he's able to roll. Okay, on, trainer. And, you know, that's the you know, scary part about, you know, rocking the wo uh, the Wario game one. Yeah. Is he gives up that counter pick advantage game three. I mean, it's kind of like one of those situations where, like, can I sort of have faith in this Wario, too? Like, yeah, I gotta make sure, like, even if you're, you're gonna call a character secondary, you gotta put some faith in it. You gotta put, you gotta put your money on black and say, you know what, I can do good with Wario. And he was doing good for the most part. It was one thing up, one thing led to another when it came back to the game plan. He was only able to get percent on the Squirtle and then the Ivasaur, where Ivasaur was able to space him out. Photo on shield, just trying to get some pressure on him. Narrow shield, and now Jacob has his leg cut. In an onslaught. Oh, right and down here through the ledge, immediate stock taken. Yeah, you want to talk about those hitboxes, man. You mentioned it earlier, you gotta watch out for the downer and the up air. Okay. That's the kind of thing you can't like get to if you're canine right now. You know that that comes with the territory of playing wolf. Exactly. You, you, you have a side view that doesn't auto step the ledge, and even though it's really hard for your opponent to challenge the up, you can be hit. Disjointed move such as Iris was down there, but immediately can I look at a press advantage here and try to take the stock away from Sweet Tea before he loses his momentum. I have to close for the flame throw afterwards. Can I try and find the stock great carry, but I'm not gonna find it. Throw. Okay, it's over for Sweet Tea. He got hit with a flamethrower that would have allowed Kenan to actually get hit by the down Yeah. That was actually real good. I didn't realize he had actually uh, got hit, so he wasn't being grabbing. I thought that was a really good I like it. I'm using the empty help to get some momentum here, but he misses double up smash the second time, and he oh, paid the price for it. He just goes out there, kick in and down three stocks to one with the wolf. Sweet Tea is at 150%, but the way Sweet Tea is just bobbing and weaving out, even with the charge on, it's so hard to get out of hand. He finally does get the hit that matters, though. Yeah, momentum finally swinging a little bit in K9 time. It's gonna be the Squirtle in play. Nice, gets the grab, dash attack, and he gets the punish. Nice, inches in with the down tilt, and sends the down there. What a message to send a Jacob. I am not out of the game, sir. You never count me out. Nice. Oh, and the down air again. That's the down air. That's the two stock for Sweet Tea. 